Okay, so hey you guys. Today we are doing a shepherd's pie. We're going to do a quick and easy shepherd's pie. We ain't going to make this a long video because the last video I made, it was almost 50 minutes long. So let's keep this one short. I have been gone for a while because I had a death in the family. So of course, I've missed maybe two weeks or something now. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get back into the hang of everything and trying to, you know, get my stamina back. Um, but please pray for me and my family and yes, Shepherd Pies Day, let's go. Okay, and I will be drinking a drink while making the Shepherd Pie, Shepherd's Pie. Um, my drink of choice today is going to be a, um, mimosa. I am using Martin Rossi's, their Prosecco bomb. I feel like that's the best when it comes to a mimosa. So I'm going to pour this bottle in there. Because I need the whole bottle at this point. But, you know. <laughs> Don't mind my business. That's all I'm saying. Do not be minding my business. And also, I use Simply Orange No Pulp, pulp Free to top it off. And that's it. That's it. Bam. That's my drink for the day. That's my drink while I am making this beautiful shepherd's pie. Please enjoy with me. Okay, so we already started by heating the pan up, pan up, you guys. We are going to put our wonderful meat in there. So it can cook through. My hands are wonderfully washed. You know, I don't play about hand washing and my food being... <laughs> Listen. Listen. Okay. Alright, let me wash again so I can put all the rest of the ingredients in. Okay, so we put all our meat in the pan. So we can start seasoning it. Okay. We are going to season with some good old garlic powder. Some good old onion powder. Ooh, we're on fire. Um, some of this good Tony's Creole seasoning. Okay. And some good old black pepper. Because pepper. Uh-oh. Here come the sneezing. About to come with that black pepper coming out. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm all putting more seasonings in than not telling you guys. So we're putting that Morton seasoning salt in there, and um, let and um, after we put all the seasonings in, we are going to put in this onion Lipton's onion recipe uh soup and dip mix. Oh my goodness! When I tell you it's bomb in your meat, you ain't had meat unless you had this in there. I don't know why it's taking forever to come out this little packet. Alright. And it was already half a uh, half this pack anyway in there. So don't think that you put a whole pack in there. I had a half a pack already from when I made burgers. So this was actually perfect for me. And that's it. I'm going to mix that thing up and let that all cook together. Okay, so we mixing everything up so it can all cook together. Okay. You can leave that go and let that simmer a little bit till it's all brown, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay. Okay, and I put some water on. I put two cups of water. We're making a mashed potato, so everything can go in to the oven together when it's time. Uh, we're going to turn the onion, onion, <laughs> the oven on to 400 right now just to heat it up. But yes, everything is just cooking. While the, while the water is heating up, we're going to cut up this good old Velveeta cheese for her. So we can put that on top of the shepherd's pie. Yes. Okay, we are chopping up this good old cheese for the shepherd's pie. For that shepherd's pie. 
I said, for our shepherd's pie. That's good. Okay, this is Velveeta cheese, so it melts bombly. <laughs> That's probably not even a word, but it melts good. So I'm only going to cut up just a little bit. We should be good. This meat is about to go into the little container we got here. The uh, mashed potato water is boiling, so we are ready for steps. Let's go. Okay, so we already started the first step already. We put the meat in first. Now I'm about to take this water off the stove so I can add the mashed potatoes and fork it through. Alright, so we're just making the mashed potatoes. Mix them on. Making sure everything. I'm sorry, I'm moving the camera around. I don't know why I didn't use my um, tripod today. I just started. I didn't need a sink. Okay. Alright, them good old mashed potatoes is done. Time to layer it on. Okay, the mashed potatoes is layered on top of the meat. If you can see down there. Yes. Now it's time for the cheese. Okay, the cheese is layered on. Now I'm about to pop it in the oven. Pop that thing in the oven. I said, pop that thing in the oven. I said, pop it in the oven. Pop it in the oven. All right. Oven down it goes. And while I'm sitting here waiting for it to get out the oven, I'll have my mimosa. Mm -hmm. It's so fresh and good. Just because I'm the type to show y'all what it really is, this is how it turned out. I ended up taking a shower and getting my life together and forgot I left it on 350, but listen, it's still going to be bomb. The top is a little, you know, crusted, but <laughs> burnt. But that thing is still going to be good inside. Watch, I'm about to slice that thing. Okay, I took it out. Sorry, I took this slice out that I took out. That's on my plate. Still looking bomb. Like I said, it still is good. It's just the top that's burnt. The rest of it ain't burnt. It's just the cheese on top that was destroyed by the heat. Ignorant. But, you know, like I said, I kept it on 400, not 350. I'm sorry, I said 350 the first time, but I kept it on 400. Forgot that I could take a quick shower and get my life together and come back and take it out. But sometimes you just got to time it and watch it and watch what you put it on when you put it in. So, this is a lesson learned for, you know, everybody and me. To make sure you turn the heat down. At least I didn't burn the meal itself. The cheese on top just burned. Jesus. But let's go. I'm ready to eat. And of course I top mine with ketchup. Like you know regular folks do. But at any rate. Until next time. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And tune in to the next video. Thank you. Peace.